You know, the Bob one time, eight years ago, eight years and two weeks now, I was baptized. Yeah. And I told him last night, I'm a, I'm ashamed because it could have been sooner. I wish, if I'd have wished, I wish I would have came a young man, as Brother Nate, Brother Lee Train is. Yeah. Sister Edna May, I wish I could have sent my father, got to wash his feet. I wish I could have sent my mother in this church. And now I do. She comes often. But there's a lot of things I wish, Brother James. Amen. Yes, Lord. But, I, but one day, by and by, I know there's a land where Jesus said He's going to gird Himself. Yeah, He's going to be all right. I, I, the night that I felt like the Lord had saved my soul, I went outside to, to be, I wanted to shout for the day. I went outside to be by myself and raised my hands up and I started to shout, Thank you, Lord. I felt Him all over me. And, but then I turned and I ran right back to where I felt like He saved me, Rich. And I got that back down on my knees for some reason. I don't know why, but idea that came to my mind. And I said, Lord, if You would whisper in Dad's ear if he's resting under Your altar or if he's enjoying a heaven today, that I don't know, I'm not there, Brother James. But I said, would you whisper in his ear, I'm coming to, I'm coming to. You see, I made it up in my mind and in my heart that this world wasn't worth what I thought it was. The material things that you gained is just vanity anyway. It's going to pass away. I hope you'll pray for a moment of time. I love to feel him. I felt that fire that night, Brother Randy, so wonderfully is preaching about Brother Bob. God calls men and women, you see. He talks to them and He calls them to repentance. I wasn't thinking about standing where I was standing when I got on the knees. I was thinking about I didn't want to go to the devil's hell. I wanted to heaven to be my home. And I knew that He's the man that could take me there. The man that hung the stars in the sky. You see, but He saved me. He put that fire down in me that night. He put a love down in me that I love men and women everywhere. But it was a little while then. But it be trained about six or eight months, I guess. And I heard him that night call my name. I know his voice. Uh, he said, my sheep hear. I know my voice. Uh, they hear me see when I call. I run. I was traveling with a bob uh, down to Lexington where I work during the week. Uh, uh, most of the time. Uh, but uh, I was driving down the road. And I heard the voice come to me. Uh, um, Brother Nate, the uh, scriptures I was singing uh, on my way, happy. Uh, I've been happy now on my way uh, the last eight years of my life. Uh, uh, there's a joy that's unspeakable, yeah. men and women. I don't know why this, my experience is on my mind. But, uh, I was driving, yeah. Brother James, uh, and I heard. His voice again as I was quoting the scripture, and I stopped. I stopped speaking. I was speaking out loud to myself, I guess. Just me and the Lord, if you will. But he said, But I said, Oh, Lord, no, no, no. I can't do that, Lord. No, no, no. They won't have me, Lord. He said, Oh, they didn't have me. But oh, you go, you warn them. They hear it for what they care. I want to be happy on my journey. I want to stand up. I want to declare his name above every name. Why? He's my leader. He's my guide. Amen. Everywhere I go, Brother Bob, just like you, I'm not welcome some places. But all they didn't welcome our Lord either. 
Why? Uh, he just told the truth. Uh, uh, he just told it uh, like it was. I love you, son. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad yeah. you're here today. Uh, you know what? Today, mm -hmm. I'm glad as many as here is here today. Why? I feel the spirit of the Lord in the house. I feel His love. All about me yeah. today. I feel it won't be long now. We're gonna hear the sweetest news. Yeah. Come home, yeah. come home. It's supper time. Yeah. The table's ready. Yeah. Have you tasted from your yes, Oh, you talk about peace. This world don't understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I haven't seen Brother Jerry in many years. When I was a boy, he'd come to Dad's church. He was a young man. Then so strong, so uh, what a voice to sing and preach on. You know he was there too. Oh, but uh, somehow the Lord, you know the Lord works in mysterious ways. He knows things. Uh, uh, all at once, uh, uh, he was coaching my son. And I thought, they said, a jury man just coaching. And I thought, jury man, uh, he don't know nothing about basketball. Uh, he's a preacher. Uh, he couldn't do that. Uh, but uh, uh, he was coaching him, Rich. Uh, and, and we got together and talking and stuff about the time that I was repeating. And one night at a ball game, we was watching somebody play. I don't even know who it was. They had a high school game. I think it was over in Letcher County or Pike County, somewhere we was at. I seen him down there. The Lord had saved my soul a few days before. I wanted to go tell him. Yeah. I wanted to go tell him. Amen. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I went down there and I tapped him on the shoulder, Brother Nate. He stood up and I whispered in his ear, Brother Jerry, the Lord has saved my soul. He didn't, he didn't even look back at the game. He just started shouting. Thank you, Lord. People thought we was probably crazy. It's okay. It's all right anyhow. If I'm crazy, let me be a crazy about the man. He saved my soul. Let me follow him all the days of my life. In just a little while, just a little while later, I met Brother Randy and Brother Nate. Always knew Brother James, Brother D Train. How does God work? He works in mysterious ways. Met Brother James on my journey. I'm glad. What I'm trying to say is, I'm glad I met you on my journey. You see. Yeah. There's going to be no strangers in heaven. Uh, no strangers in heaven. We're going to a family. We're going. We're all one family. You may say this is home, or this is my home over here, but we're all His children. Amen. We're His today, and if we're His today, we got love in our heart for everybody, not just a few. It's everybody. It, it tires me up sometimes the way men. Try to separate us here and here and here. With God, with the Spirit, there is no separation. It binds together. It don't divide. Men divides, Todd, but God draws, you see. That's why His ways is far above our ways. He said, that's heaven is the earth. I'm sorry I didn't get on a, on a Scripture today like I probably should have. I, I, I was just preaching it. What I thought. But you know what? The Lord is good and very good. Brother Randy said, he said, I am the bread that come down from God out of heaven that a man may eat thereof and never die. 
I preach today, if you've got a taste of that bread, then you know about it today. I believe if you've got a taste of that bread, yes. it's changed you from the inside out. So you see, it's like the old brother used to say, it's like grease in a gourd. It'll come to the outside. But you see, I had to tell somebody about it. Why? It was like fire that shut it through my bones. I wanted to tell somebody, everybody about it. I called mother the night before I was baptized. And I said, Mom, I said, the Lord saved my soul and I'm going to be baptized and she started shouting on the phone Brother BJ she said I don't know where that church is I said you don't have to come it's okay but she was there anyway I said but you know what I'll meet you in a land that knows no end you see I, I was like Abraham of old I pitched my tent yeah. toward a city one night and I'm on my journey now. I'm on my way home. Well, that's why I can say this world ain't my home anyway. I'm just passing through. I've heard of a city called heaven. I started to make it my home. But I want you children to come and go to. I want I love I love to hear my little boy say that. I want your God to be my God. I want to go the way you go. You know, I'm like Paul said, I'm not afraid for him to follow me. Amen. I'm not afraid for him to follow me because I follow him. I follow him. Paul said that in his writings. Brother Nate, and if you follow him, the world will know about it too. They're not gonna, you're not going to be popular among the world. You're not. You'll be popular among the children of God, the true children of God. Because there's a love that's inside of you. And only if you, you can feel it. You can feel it when you meet up. You can feel it. That's why that, that the Brother Randy was so wonderfully preaching about Elijah and how he moved. You know what Elijah did there? From there, God took care of him. Tell him about the church. Yeah. He took care of us, any honey. He's took care of us. It may shock you there have been times that in my life I didn't have nothing. Everybody can say that. But God has made a way. God has made a way. He's been so good to me. He makes a way for His children. There was a famine in the land. He was talking about Elijah. There was a famine in the land. The drought. God told him to get on a journey. He had a little state place for him there for a little while. He caused the ravens to come and bring him bread and bring him meat to eat. He had a little brook to drink of. He took care of it. He's took care of me now for eight years. And I, I just got the sweetest feeling down in my soul. Uh, he'll take care of me to the Amen. end. Amen. And when He right. takes care of me uh, in the end, that's when it's going to be uh, worth it all. Amen. Because uh, in that morning of all mornings, it's when He calls my name, I'm going to answer that call. I'm going to say farewell, ain't world. Hello, I'm going man. home. Amen. I'm going home. Are you going home today? Uh, 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 this world ain't my home. I'm just passing. Passing through, uh, but I want everybody to get on board of the ship that uh, Brother D. Train was preaching about. Ah, uh, have you seen uh, the wind as it begins to move the ship, uh, and the ship starts sailing? Uh, that wind is the sweet spirit of the Lord. Uh, her sails is love. Ah, uh, have you seen the captain of this ship? Uh, I'm talking about. Uh, Brother D. Train said, his head is hair. Is white like wool. His eyes is as the flame of fire. Oh, he's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. And he's the captain of this ship that I'm on today. I want our children to come and get on board this ship too. So what must we do? What must we do? As the children of God. Be a light. Be a light. Show love more. Show love more. We should gather up. The children of God should gather up so close 
that the wind can't even get through. That's what the Scripture says. Now, is it, that just talking about this church? It's talking about the children of God. The children of God. Are you a child of the King? Do you serve man? Or do you serve God? That's just the way it is today. Who is your leader? Who is your guide? I pitched my tent toward the city, Brother BJ. Yep. Brother BJ was here the first night we had church. He come in, we, me and Brother Jerry was called in a funeral. How many thousands of funerals have you conducted? Thousands over the years. And he said, I bet you didn't think to see me tonight, did you? And I said, no, but I'm glad you're here. He come in and he said, you know what? I think I want this church to be my home. To be my home. He's been here when I'm hardly able to be here. We know. We know. Just a little while later, Brother Joe said, you're blind. Can't see. He said, I feel Jesus saved my soul. I want to be baptized. Y'all just look it up on Facebook, the video of him being baptized. Oh, yeah. His eyes fixed toward heaven as they lay him back. It's a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. Oh, just a little while longer. Sissy back here is dead. <laughs> My little sister that can't hear. I've been talking to the Lord. And the Lord said everything is okay. I can be baptized. That's the way God talks. He talks to the hearts of men and women. He don't yes. talk in our ears like we do. We took her out. Brother Jerry can witness this. You see, she can't speak. She can't talk. But when we raised her up, Bonita, Sister Bonnie, when she, we raised her up from being baptized, she raised her hands up and she spoke it as plain as I did. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Jerry said, did you hear that? I said, yeah. He was amazed. He was amazed. I'm not amazed with what God can do. Amen. He caused a man to speak that couldn't speak. He calls her to speak that couldn't speak. He put his fingers one day, Rich, as he was walking through and seen a little man that was deaf. He put his fingers in his ears and that man became able to hear. He touched a man and his eyes Todd that couldn't see and that man became to see. Who is this man? He's the man that can save your soul if you want him bad enough. But you have to want him more than anything else in life. You have to lay it all down. But what did I gain? I, when I laid it all down, I gained it all. I found a peace. I found a love that the world knows nothing about. I found so much joy in my heart. When I lay down, I sleep so well that night run. Now, not worrying about my soul and the condition, but I still worry about our children. You see, there should always be that worry about us. But in Him, I found peace. I found joy and I found love. And you can find it too. You may already have. I don't know. I don't know. I keep looking you hard. But I know a man that can. I know a man that can. And he's been my friend. And now that I've had him done in my soul, I realize he was watching over me. He loved me even when I was unlovable. Even when I was unlovable, Brother Bob. He took care of us. We was boys. We didn't even realize it. Wild, reckless. Didn't even think about it. But I think a lot about here sits my brother. One night I heard him, my dad, praying. I was about 10 years old. I heard a noise. I didn't know what it was. I went up and I, I, I opened the door. And I went down the hallway. And I could hear my dad pray. Lord, let him be okay. Let him be okay. And I, I opened the door. My dad was getting up and he was getting ready. And I said, where are you going, Daddy? Mommy said, he's going to find your brother. He's going to find Ronnie. Ronnie's been in a wreck. How'd you know that? Nobody called Brother Bob and told him. Nobody called and told him. Didn't have cell phones. The Lord told him. He went straight to where Ron was. Ron totaled the car. 
He didn't drink it. But he said, Ronnie was okay. God watches over us. He'll take care of us. At that moment, maybe Dad's prayers spared his life. Many, many, many things I can tell about when I was a boy of hearing mother, father pray. That's the sweetest feeling Amen. in my soul that I have memories of our loved ones doing that. And everybody can't say that. But God is still good. That's right. God is still good. He'll take care of you. He'll take care of you. Now, I've wore you out. I know. I apologize. But let me tell you this. And we're going to say this church loves you. Yes. This church needs you. This church wants you. This is a home for anyone that feels like the Lord has saved their yes. soul. God is no respecter person. Uh -huh. There's no big eyes and little U's. No. There's no big U's and little eyes. It's we're all God's children. And that's the way it has to be in order for us to truly Amen. serve Him Amen. and love Him. We have a great pastor or moderator, I think. We all do. But He, we don't have anything unless we put God first. I think, I think we'll take Him down there, blessed Him down there, you can't let <laughs> He may need to. Yeah. The church door is open while the brother is singing. Brother Nate, yeah. <laughs> brother Nate is singing a song. We're close. Come on, brother. <laughs> Mountain. 